starting our lazy retreat with a nice lazy breakfast. I have to get an up at 10 o'clock in the morning. And after eating vegetarian for the last four months or something, we're now having a lot of food. dressed and it's about 1 p.m <laughs> we've had a very lazy morning having a lovely delicious breakfast we've come to a cottage in devon where we're just gonna have a nice few days um just to relax and hopefully get out and walk if it stops raining we are staying in an 18th century cottage so it's really really old and you can tell it's got like really low ceilings which rob keeps banging into it's got a real fireplace which we had going last night and it's just really adorable, so we'll give you a quick tour. So as you can see, I do have to bend down the whole time. But we've got this living room. And then here's our first kitchen. So in here we've got all of our sink and our microwave and all the stuff that you could ever need. Pots and pans and cute mugs hanging up on the, on the timber beams up here. Behind us is the bathroom which is really nice. Through this very, very low bit, where even Rob has to go like on all fours basically, we have the second kitchen, which is where you do all of the cooking. It's got a pink arga, which is adorable, which is still warm. Are you sure it's not on? I've turned off. Okay. Um, and we've got a little view out onto the fields, so we can look at the chickens and there was some sheep there yesterday but they're hiding from the rain at the minute I think and through this way we can head upstairs so you have to go through all these little cute doors to get anywhere up here is the bedroom which is really cute we did make the bed this morning but it looked probably a bit better before we arrived um, and it's really cosy, it has electric blankets which we made full use of so that it was like really warm and snuggly but I think because we had the fire on last night it actually heats up this room quite well um, and it has like loads of old little trinkets around, they've got like a whole unit of lights and set, they've got like a writer's desk um, and they just decorate it really well so that's basically the whole cottage, it's absolutely tiny but it's really sweet and a lovely place to spend a few days between Christmas and New Year We decided we should probably venture out for a walk, even though it's raining a bit. And we've got many, many layers on, so hopefully we'll be nice and warm. So, we were gonna do like this whole 5k walk down to the sea today. But as we've been walking, I've noticed that the water's been getting steadily closer and the tide is actually coming in, so it probably doesn't make sense for us to carry on. But there is like a pub or something coming up, so we're going to drop in there for a drink and then carry on back, but over land rather than by the water. Well, that was quite short-lived. Uh, we didn't pre-book and they didn't have any space so we can't have a drink there. At the moment I think everywhere's pretty busy and a few of the pubs are closed because of all the situation at the moment. Um, so we're probably just going to walk back to our cosy little cottage. just next door. Apparently they once headbutted the satellite dish so they now have put a fence around it which is quite funny. We 
we got back from our walk a little while ago and we've decided that we're gonna have a warm, cozy night in tonight and we're gonna use the Arga to try and cook a lamb roast dinner because we haven't had enough roast dinners with it being Christmas. I don't really know how an Arga works. Um, apparently it's on or off um, and it takes about an hour to heat up. So it might be a little bit interesting, um, but we're gonna give it a try because it's a nice like British way to cook your food. After a few hours of cooking, we have got dinner. We've got gravy, potatoes and parsnips, lamb, leeks, sprouts and cauliflower. Do you think we have too much food? I think we've probably got enough for four people, five maybe. <laughs> we will be having some leftovers, I think, for the next few days. I hope so. And a nice red wine from Audi to top it off. So this morning is another day and we had another late start again, which is quite easy to do when you're staying in such a cosy place. But we are heading out today to go on a walk in the Exmoor National Park. No, Dartmoor. Dartmoor National Park. Um, because that's kind of what this region of Devon is really known for and we've eaten a lot of food, so we need to go and walk off some of those calories. We've arrived at, what's the castle called? Drogo Castle. We've arrived at Drogo Castle, and we're too cheap to pay for parking, so we've parked on the road by the entrance, and now we've got to walk up the path to get to the castle, We'll have a little look at that and then we have, how long's the walk? Uh, I think it's about six kilometer walk down around the valley, looking at the views. So it should be a nice one. Hopefully the rain holds off, but I'm just gonna cross my fingers for that. Passed about 50 dogs, so I'm very much in my happy place. Everyone's taking their dogs out, I think, during Christmas and New Year, enjoying the slightly milder weather when it's not raining anymore. It's only three degrees today, that's quite quite warm for what it's been recently. This part of the world is so full of these adorable little thatched cottages. They're just so sweet. Just like one of the ones they're staying in. We're looking for somewhere to sit so we can tuck into our lunch. We got turkey sandwiches because it's Christmas time. So my turkey sandwich has cranberry sauce in it, which is the right way to do it. But Rob's fussy, so he doesn't like it. In my opinion, it has to be on white bread with lots of salt and pepper, but we didn't have any salt, so I put a bit of old gravy on it and it seems to do the trick. Another Christmas must have this trick is. We are making the most of the English countryside this winter. A, because we've been locked inside for ages, so this is the only thing we can do, so we're gonna make the most of it. Also, because we have some exciting news. 
that we're not going to share yet but it means that we aren't going to be able to make as much use of the English countryside come 2021. We're definitely a lot less fit than we were when we were away. Yeah, I don't think I could climb every space camp trek now. Need a bit more practice. We flew the drone and it's now officially dark. Almost dark, yeah. <laughs> so we're just getting a little groove on for the last little bit of the walk. But at least it's really quiet and being back on this top bit, like the views are really nice. It's been a good bit of exercise. It's definitely needed it after all we've been eating over Christmas. Well, we've got a dinner reservation in a couple hours, so we actually need to rush back to the car. We actually have a dinner reservation at the pub we went to yesterday. Yeah. That didn't let us in because we didn't have a booking. So we've made a booking for tonight and we're gonna head there for dinner. We made it back now. Just before dark sets in. We're, yep. uh, we're quite tired and we've got to drive back, get changed, have a shower, get to dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. So today is another kind of rainy day in Devon but we are going to persevere and go on a walk and yet again it is about midday <laughs> yeah we haven't been able to get out um, early enough so we're just sitting in the car in the rain waiting in a bit of traffic we're going to drive down to the coast today and do a little coastal walk i'm not sure what the views are going to be like but it'd be good to get out and do a little bit more exercise because I think we might have just spotted our first Dartmoor ponies. Uh, I think they're wild ponies. They look sort of wild. There's signs everywhere saying don't let the ponies out, but this is the first time we've actually seen any. it probably wasn't the best idea with all the rain it's really muddy I had to basically like ski down the last little bit Jenny constantly thinks she's gonna fall over so we're gonna hopefully get back to the car without getting mud all over our bums so after eating some delicious mince pies that were made by my mum uh, we've decided to sit in front of the fire and attempt a puzzle which we haven't done ever, actually, think together, you and me. Probably not. Maybe yeah. with my family as well. Yeah, but they have a few here. And they're really cool ones. It has, like, random shapes. Like, it has, like, a little giraffe puzzle piece. I don't know if you see that. And a snake or something like that. So, um, we have to fit those into the puzzle. I don't know if we'll finish it today, but we'll definitely start it. And it's really warm by the fire. So, last night, we didn't finish our puzzle. Um but we've moved it to the side and we woke up a bit late again today and we've had a slow breakfast. I burnt the pan of chocolat because we don't know how the oven works. And we're gonna go out for a short walk and then we're gonna come back and just relax because today's New Year's Eve. No one can do anything, but we're gonna stay and drink some Prosecco and just relax.
How cute is this? They've repurposed the little telephone box into a little mini library. How sweet. Every day you make mistakes, but heroes know that's what it takes to find themselves to save a friend, discover true love. In We've uh, had a lovely little walk actually today. Turn into a nice afternoon stroll. Rob's been playing with all of his electronics. I've been getting the GoPro out and getting the drone out. But yeah, we're heading back along the river now to our little cottage. It's actually our last night. I think we're just gonna get a takeaway for dinner and then pop open some Prosecco. Probably watch a bit of Jules Holland on television because we don't really know what else is going on. For anyone who's actually not British, Jules Holland is like, the person who basically does the New Year's Eve party on the BBC. Like, and for every, every for ev year. Every year, for many, many years. So it's kind of a, a feature it's of like New an Year's. institution, yeah. yeah. So anyway, normally we don't watch it because we're actually doing something interesting, but <laughs> this year we'll probably watch it. Along with everyone else in the country. Yeah, and um, I know, just have a little quiet one, I think. And finish then, our puzzle. Oh yeah, maybe. Kind of, I drank a bit too much last night and couldn't be bothered to finish it. So probably the same will happen tonight. But yeah, it's been a really nice little trip. I think the one thing I was just saying that it would have been really nice if it had been snow. Yeah. Some of the pictures of our Airbnb included ones with snow in them. And that would have been really, really nice wintry vibes. It really would have been. But it's been a lovely trip anyway. And um, it'd be a shame to go back and obviously back into quarantine and Back into work. Yeah, back to work's the worst thing. <laughs> um, but we've made, we've been chatting a lot over the last few days of what we want to do with our year and... Longer I term plans. 2021 will be quite interesting. I think we'll try not to be too swallowed up by work as we have been in the last few months. Oh! <laughs> Nearly fell over. Um, and just try and have a bit more of a present life. Um, and yeah, we'll see where things go and just kind of not really make too many plans because there's one thing 2020 has taught us is that you really can't make plans. Yeah, best laid plans always go a bit wrong. So we shall see you a bit later on. For our New Year's Eve meal, we decided to go for fish and chips. So I've got a large cod, chips, mushy peas, half a bat sausage because we can never decide whether we want a bat sausage or not. Only and I've gone chicken. for yeah half a chicken and chips and the other half of the batter sausage. We've got the fire on, we've got a glass of red wine, we've got Alexa playing uh, the radio which we've had to pause and uh, yeah I think we're pretty much set for the night. Spend the next few hours just doing this, watch some telly, listen to some music. It's gonna be a very quiet New Year's Eve. Maybe finish our puzzle. But anyway, Cheers to 2021. So we're all packed up. Uh, feeling quite sad to leave this really nice cottage. Uh, it's New Year's Day, so hopefully the roads won't be too busy. We've got to make our drive back home now, unpack and get ready for our next week at work. Thanks for watching this video and maybe we'll make some more videos in 2021.